Before we look at how to set up the annotation for showing earthwork numbers on the cross sections, let's just see how we create earthwork in general for our cross sections. So I'm going to start by making a new file and this is going to be where we would have our, our cross section earthwork and sheets generated. And I'm going to reference in my corridor with a nesting depth of 3 so we'll have access to everything. And let's do a fit view here and activate our train model to create our 3D model in our new file here. Now right click View Control and open up the plan in 3D combination. Now we're going to go to Drawing Production and we're going to just place our name boundaries for our cross sections. We're not going to create sheets yet. So I'm going to pick my seed file, select my alignment, put in my start station 119 and we'll accept that. Put in our ending station 140, accept that. And then we want to make sure that we go ahead and select where we want those to be and then turn off the create drawing and accept one more time to create our name boundaries. Now in the home tab if we go to civil analysis we want to go ahead and generate the create cut fill volumes and this is what we're using to calculate those and we have a couple of feature definitions that are set in the delivered workspace for volumes cut and volumes fill and then we select the prompts for computing the unsuitable custom and substrata and that will then generate our cut fill volumes. Then back under civil analysis we want to navigate down to end area volumes report. This does two things. One is it makes a report of our end area volumes and it also allows us to omit for non-calculating areas like bridges but it also writes a particular property to each of these cross-section name boundaries that are needed to generate those values on the sheets. And so now that that's processed you can of course review your report, you can export that to Excel, etc. But let's take a look at the properties on one of those cross-section name boundaries now. So I open up my properties dialog and I isolate one of those name boundaries, you're going to see there's a new field here that talks about an XML fragment that has been attached. That has all the information for the end area uh, volumes and end area sections. So now we can go back and create our cross sections using the name boundary manager. I'm going to turn on to annotate and I'm also going to turn on to open the second dialog. I'm going to right click and select uh, create cross section drawing. And I'm just going to turn on add to sheet index and then select OK. This will then generate our proposed cross-section sheets. So you can see an example here, but yet there's no earthwork on there yet, and that's because the earthwork is set up in its own annotation group in the delivered workspace for convenience. And so I'm going to switch back to one of my cross-section drawing models. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to go up to Select, Annotate Model, and I'm going to annotate all models, all of my cross-section models, and I want to select the annotation group that is dedicated to showing the end area volume labels. We'll accept that and then that will then place the annotation of the end area volumes and areas on each, each individual cross-section drawing model. So we take a look at one of our sheet models you will see that then superimposed on each of those. Now let's take a look at how we set these up in your workspace so that you can annotate on your cross sections. So let's take a look at the cell library where we're setting up these annotation cells for our end areas and our volumes between sections. And I'm going to navigate to that particular model in the cell library called Excess EAV Table. And you'll see I have a table set up here. I'm going to delete one of my entries and then place it in here again so you'll see how to do that. So we'll go to the Place Text, we'll go to Insert Field, Cross Section Field, and we have a new set of categories here dedicated to earthwork. So you want to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see we have Cut Area there. And we can put up the parameters that we want 
I'm going to show my own label of SF. So I'll type that in. And then I simply just go down and place that in my table. Once your table is created, take a look at where the orientation is. I have mine in the upper right, which makes it easy to place on the cross section sheet in the upper right corner. Now I'm going to go down to my features and annotations DGN library and I'm going to open up Explorer and take a look at the annotation group set up for this. So under our cross section category drawing, you'll see XS EAV annotation. Right click manage. And you'll see that I'm placing a cell here. I've dedicated a couple of different point names to place it at CL or CL underscore L for either an undivided or divided road. I'm placing a cell and I'm putting it on the top border on the right side and then I have specify here the cell name and then that will place the entire cell up in the upper right corner of each cross section within the particular drawing model.